Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you work smarter, not harder. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Google Sites and in particular, the number of upgrades we've had over the last few months and why they're so meaningful and impactful now. So in the video, you can see here, I've got a Christmas party website set up. So I know it's a bit premature considering it's only January at the moment, but this is just to show you the new text uh, formatting and control options that we now have available to us. So I'm going to scroll down on the page here and you'll see I have this text box in the middle here. So getting ready for a festive evening. So before we could only have text as either a title or subtitle or normal, normal text as such. Uh, so we couldn't really have much control over the sizing, uh, colors, bold, italics, that sort of thing. So now Google Sites has made that upgrade because a lot of us have requested it. And now I'm going to run you through each one of these different tools and why it's really powerful to have in a Google site. So if I click on this text box here, you'll see something that looks very familiar to you all. Something you'll see in most word processing platforms like Google Docs or Google Slides, for example. You'll see I have lots of different options up here. So I'm just going to run through each one and uh, show you how it works. So in here, I could highlight a certain piece of text now. And I could change the size this way, like we had before. So normal text, title, heading, subheading, that sort of thing. But I also now have the option to change the size myself. So I could choose, I want that to be size 30, for example. I could also type in here a number if I want it to be 35, and make it a bit bigger. So that's one thing I really like. It gives you uh, the ability to make something stand out on your website, make something really grab someone's attention. What I also like is that you can change the text now. So all the things that, you, again, you see in Google Docs, you can now do uh, within Google Sites. So I can change my font to impact, or I can make it look really smart if I wanted to with Pacifio. Okay, um, and one of the other things I really like about this is, again, you can make certain parts of text stand out, something that's meant to grab people's attention. So it could be the address, for example, up above, or it could be the dress code in this instance. Um, but what you can also do is you can go to other parts of the text. So I might highlight this bit here now and make this bold. So I can make the venue name bold so it stands out. I've also got the italics option and also the underline function all within this one text box here. I've also got the ability to change color of text. So I might choose a more festive color so I could go for a red. Or if I didn't like that red, I could choose one of these or even go to add custom color and drag around the pinpoint in these different areas here. So I might decide actually I want a green. Or if you know the hex code, you could put that in there as well and click save. And then it will change to green. Okay, so really another nice little touch we've got. We've also got the ability um, to add links in. So we had this before, but we could add a link to a certain web, uh, to a different page or a particular website link if we wanted to. Um, so I could link this to an image from Google if I wanted to, or link it to another page within this site. So I might just go reserve yourself a place, uh, which will then underline as a hyperlink. We've also got the ability to format where the text is actually placed in the box. So we've got the option of alignment. So we could go to left align. I could put this middle bit into center align. Oh, that's kicked it all in. It's all because of the same, same paragraph, excuse me. Uh, but you can change different paragraphs alignment, I should say, not individual lines. Um, you've also got the ability to add numbered lists or even bullet points into your text box as well. So understandably, I'm very excited about this because I can see how this is going to impact my students when they're creating their student portfolios on Google Sites. Um, and also for the creation of our school website and also the update of our school website, we can now have more control over how it looks and and really customize it, make it personal to us as a school. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to uh, leave some comments, ask any questions you have, contact me on Twitter at trainingwithbm if you wanna ask any questions or run for anything one-to-one -one with me. Please feel free to share this with friends, colleagues, anyone that might find it useful, and please stay tuned for next time. See you there, take care.